hello everybody and welcome back to my channel life with patty and so i'm coming to you today with a product um my favorite products i did this once before with um, my favorite personal products or i don't even know if i would say they're my favorite but they're the most often used personal products and so now today i'm going to do one with you with my most often used um, household products so these are things that are not for like my face or brushing my teeth which is a personal one these are things that I use in the house and so I picked 10 items that I use all the time for household products um, and so let's just get started I'll show you what I have I think I'll do something like this every once in a while like one will be like the 10 most popular items that I buy when I go grocery shopping and I did the personal um, items and now my personal care and now I'm doing household items. I don't know, maybe my favorite crafting items. Who knows, my favorite baking items. I don't know. I'm really trying to hit um, 2K by my two year anniversary, which is in March. So, hey, if you guys want to share my videos or shout out my channel. I would appreciate that. It's just my own personal goal. It's not like it's making me a lot of money. <laughs> I'm just, um, I've been on YouTube. It'll be two years in March. And so I would love to hit 2K by my second year anniversary. That would be awesome. So, all right, let's get started of my household products that I use all the time. So the first one is this Lysol with bleach. And um, I don't, yeah, it is a toilet bowl cleaner. But I use it in the sinks. Um, I use I use it in porcelain sinks. Now we just got a stainless steel sink. I have not used that. I bought soft scrub for that. So, but I use this for the toilet. I use this for the bat, um, the shower and bathtub. I use it for the sinks. I love it. It has enough of the bleach in there that it really does clean up everything and um it does it has a pleasant smell to it it's not real bleachy so i use this all the time i normally buy this at dollar general so i get that all the time then i like this oxy clean for laundry for stains on my shirts or whatever but you know what this also works great on your carpet so sometimes buster brown has a little accident once in a while and if I spray this on the carpet and then scrub it really good, it seems to take it right out. So we don't have spots all over our carpet from our dog from accidents. And once in a while, Taylor will have an accident. For a while, she was throwing up all the time and we were getting really concerned. And the vet just told us to change her food because they get too accustomed to the food and that, that will happen. And so we did and everything went back to normal and she was fine. So anyways... OxyClean for laundry. I love it. I use it on my clothes and my carpet. The next thing, and I know I have done a review on this over and over again, and I swear by it, is Dawn dish soap. I've tried the knockoff brands from 99 Cent Only or from the Dollar uh, Tree and or even Dollar General. Any of the knockoff brands, they are not the same as the actual Dawn itself. Now, my husband, he'll see this like this, and guess what he would do? He would fill this sucker up with water. To me, it does not work the same. I don't like that. Then you gotta use twice as much to wash your dishes. But if you just leave it like this, I, I, I know a lot of, um, you know, budgeting channels say to dilute it. I don't believe in that. But at, at the full strength, I can use just a few little dots, and it will lather up on the sponge, and I can use it for a long amount of time. But if I water it down, I feel like I'm using twice, three times the amount. So you're defeating the whole purpose. So I do not dilute mine. The only time we'll dilute it is when it gets really low and we don't want to waste it. And we'll use it, up, you know, just to, so we can get it off the bottom. That's it. Okay. The next one is the Febreze. And this one is the Heavy Duty Air. Oh my gosh, I love this. This one smells nice and clean. 
It's just a clean, fresh scent. And I use it on our chairs. I use it on the couch. I use it on the bedspreads, everything. I'll use it on the carpet. You can use it on anything. It doesn't stain anything. And it makes the room just smell nice and fresh and clean. And sometimes when you have animals or your husband sweats a lot when he's in his recliner. So when he leaves, <laughs> And it makes it smell so beautiful again. So I love this one. There's all different kinds of scents. And I've used a lot of them. But I love, love, love this one. Next is Reynolds Wrap Heavy Duty. Now there's all kinds of foil. But this is my favorite. The Reynolds Wrap Heavy Duty is my favorite. I love it. And I use it all the time. I always have one going and one in the drawer below ready to go so we never run out of reynolds wrap heavy duty and it is way more expensive than if you get it from the dollar tree but the stuff from the dollar tree put it up to your face like that you probably see through it i don't like it that's my personal opinion all right the next are the top the gain flings which is like a tide pod same thing but I did not use these till, I want to say, three months ago. And let me tell you, this is why I like it. You put your laundry in, and you're running your water, and you just throw one of these in there. It measures it perfectly. The other way with the liquid one, I know you have the little measures on there. I still felt like I used too much, and I didn't get what it's rationing said I would get. This, it says that you have whatever, like, I don't know, 24 loads. They're not lying because there's 24 flings in there. Sometimes I get the Tide Pods, but I really like the game. It smells really good. So I really love these. And sometimes at Dollar General, they'll have a coupon for it, and then you can use your $5 off coupon for Saturdays. Hmm, that's when you get it. All right, the next one is the Bounce um, Fabric Sheets. I have tried all kinds of different fabric sheets. I get the cheap ones, I get the whatever, and these are the ones I always go back to. I love this one, I get it at Target. And it, how many sheets does it have in? 250. Now, I used to use just one, now I use two. Some people say they use a half, I don't know. But I like them, I do not have static cling in my laundry, and I believe it is because of this. Not because of the laundry soap, I don't use a fabric softener, in the washing machine, I use these, and I like them. Some people will swear they're bad for your laundry or bad for your clothes. That's fine, I still like them, I'm gonna use them. All right, the next product is the Glad Force Flex um, garbage bags. Oh my gosh, I've tried every garbage bag in the world, and I always go back to Glad. I want the, I want the ones with the tie up here. I don't wanna have to tie it with the actual um, garbage bag itself, you know, that's attached. No, I want this one right here. It pulls it closed all the way, ties it off. And the Force Flex holds more and less spills, less reps. I have to take my garbage from my house to the dumpster over by um, the barn, by the shop. And then the garbage truck picks it up there. It's not like a huge walk. If you live in an apartment complex and you gotta walk down your stairs and around and to the dumpster, it's probably the same amount of distance. But I sure don't wanna break my um, garbage on the way to the dumpster. So I use these because I know they're not gonna break. Hmm. So some of, a lot of, yes, everything I have here is name brand, not generic, but I find that it has made a big difference. Okay, the next one are the sandwich bags from Ziploc. And yes, I want the Ziploc brand. I don't want the off brand. I want the Ziploc brand because it seals. I get some of those others and then you open it up right here. When you open it up right here, sucker breaks. <laughs> no, I store a lot of stuff in these and I take stuff to work in these. Um, I, like we had leftover prawns the other day. I put them in one of these. I don't want the cheapies that are going to break on me. So I use the Ziploc sandwich bags always. And the next thing are the um, Ziploc grip and seal freezer bags. Oh, oops. 
Yes. Here we go. And it has to be Ziploc. I've tried the others, and I do not like them. These heavy-duty seal right up. The other ones I like from Ziploc. Oh, I don't have them here. Some of them have the little zipper thing, and I like those too. Um, but, like I said, I've tried the cheap ones, and then they split on me. They break. They don't seal. I even store my ice in here. I've been making my own ice instead of going and buying it. And so I have two ice trays, and I make the ice, and then I break it, and I put it in a Ziploc bag, put it in the freezer, so we open and close it over and over and over again. No problems. But if you use those cheap generic ones, you got a problem. So <laughs> those are my 10 most favorite products for household items. And like I said, I will do some other reviews on other items in... Um, videos to come, but I hope you enjoyed this, and let me know what some of your favorite household items are. I didn't have, um, like what I mop the floor with, what I dust with. Oh, I didn't even put my Windex in here, so I have these 10 items. I might do another one with 10 more items at a later date, but uh, these were just 10 of my favorite items, so all right, you guys. Have a great day. Take care, and I'll see you back here real soon. Bye-bye.